Understanding the Grace Period, a guide for English language learners. Hello and welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore the term grace period. It's a phrase you might encounter in various contexts, especially related to finance and deadlines. Let's dive into what it means and how you can use it in everyday English. The term grace period refers to a set amount of time after a deadline or due date during which a penalty is waived for a late payment or action. It's like a short extension that allows for a delay without any negative consequences. For instance, if you have a loan payment due on the first of the month, a grace period might give you until the 10th to make that payment without facing any late fees. Grace periods can apply in various situations. Credit cards. Many credit card companies offer a grace period for new purchases if you have paid your previous balance in full. Insurance policies. You might have a grace period to renew an insurance policy before it lapses. Subscriptions. Some subscription services allow a grace period after the renewal date before they cut off the service. Understanding the grace period can help you manage payments and avoid extra costs. Being aware of a grace period is crucial because it can save you from penalties or extra charges. It also reflects well on your responsibility and creditworthiness if you adhere to the original terms, but it's always good to know you have that extra time just in case. Here are a few examples of how to use grace period in a sentence. The library books have a one-week grace period before fines start accruing. Make sure you're aware of the grace period on your mortgage payment. There's no grace period for this offer. You need to act now. That's all on the grace period. Remember, while a grace period can be helpful, it's best to aim to meet your original deadlines. We hope this video helps you understand and use the term confidently in English. Thanks for watching and we look forward to helping you learn more English in our next video.